Let's get to it. Hi, my name is Patrick, but you can call me 26. And what we're going to do today is we are going to add um, a very important feature to the map that we have currently been building, right? So we have been building this map and what a user can do is um, completely in SwiftUI, if they can select the icon and drag it around and pick a particular location, right? So they can pick this, move it and get the actual location, right? And they can also, if they want, right? They can come here and we search for, let's say Miami, like so, and then we get Miami and we select this and we're going to appear in Miami, right? So that's really nice. And you could maybe move it around because it appears just next where the name is supposed to be, right? So it allows you to move around and get this, right? But what would be really nice is if a user could decide to tap on anywhere in the map and this um, icon or the map pin is going to appear there, right? So for example, if we tap here, we want to see it here, right? But you can see from the way we created the map in, this is impossible because we have the, it requires you to long press on the actual map and we're, give it, we're giving it uh, the content shape so that we can get, we can detect it being uh, touched and then move it around, right? So that is all possible. But what we want to do is we want to make it even easier for the user, right? Rather than having to drag the icon around, what they could do is just point at a location on the map and then the icon is going to appear there, right? So that's what we want to do. So how we do that is pretty straightforward. Um, there are several ways you could do it, but I think this, um, I came up with two ways you could do it. I'm going to show you what was the easiest, the one that contained the least, the least amount of code, right? So what we would do is we would go back to our view model and the code is exactly the same, right? I've not made any changes. What we want to do is come here and save our show, show pin, and show pin is going to be set to true, right? And this is just going to be, um, no, this is in the set location sorry i'm jumping ahead of myself right so we should come here and among uh, the properties here is going to be shopin right shopin is going to be set to true right so that is going to govern whether or not we show our pin right and then afterwards what we need to do is um when you're searching for location right so when you search for location where is it uh, find location um select uh select location right so here we should come here and say shopping shopping is going to be true right um like so and where right so that's going to be when we're selecting the location and this is because when you're searching for a location this should always be um when you select when you tap on the on the list of um suggestions this should the shopping should always be true right now with that done what you need to do is just apply um, uh, the ability to detect um, touches on our map, right? So let's go to where our map is and our map is in the content view, right? So our map is currently in the content view and what we'd like to do next is, um, let's see, what do we want to do? We would like to come and give our map here, right? We would like to come here and in our map and we come here and we say, if vm dot shopping we're going to do this and then we're going to wrap our map in that, right? Now we wrap our map in this. So if show pin is true, we're going to show this, right? And then after that on our map, right? No, this is going to be this, right? On our map, we want to add the on tap gesture. So we come here and we say on tap gesture and the code we want to do is say uh, location in, we get the location of where the tap has happened, location in, right? And here it's going to be let position position is just going to be uh, location right so and then we say um if let coordinate coordinate it's trying to help me but that's not what i want to do we get it from the proxy in the map reader remember here the map reader so that you can get access to it proxy dot convert and we want to convert um not to to from but convert position and instead of to, what we want is from. We want to come here and we say from, right? And from is going to be dot. Now we have two options, global and local. Let's start global, right? Global is going to be in the, uh, is not going to be in the map. Because remember, this on tap gesture is on the map, right? So I'm going to show you the problem that this creates, right? So we come here and then afterwards, we come here and we say, we call. What we're going to do is um, we're going to say VM. And these are exactly the same dot update coordinate and coordinate you're going to update it to the actual coordinate that you have here right so we do that that's exactly the same vm dot show pin is going to be set to true and then if we show pin this happens right and then um the map and the pin is shown right and then after that we're going to say vm dot find coordinate right so we do that 
and that's going to be that right so it's only that's all we need to do so let's see it in action let's see it in action and now when we tap on the lower east side it's going to jump all the way to third avenue right not the lower east side right and that's because we're reading it from the global right instead of in the proxy right what we should do is read it from local and then when you do that where i use attaches is where it's the the we're going to update to right so come here and that's going to be 45 grand central and this hasn't affected anything else in the app we can still drag it right see so you can pick this and then if that's not accurate just drag it a bit right so we do that and that gives us the actual location right and if we come here and say miami like so and we say miami beach we're going to appear in miami beach okay it looks like an island okay and then afterwards we can just move this and it's going to move along Miami Beach, which looks like an island to me, right? So, and also if we tap here, we go to La Lagoche Country Club, which is by the ocean, right? I believe this is the ocean. It's straight Straits of Florida. Okay, so that is a much needed improvement to our app. And now I think we have a lot of the features that we require.